What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fishing Grubs. We are out here. It is the uh, the day has come for the subscriber giveaway here on the Wise Cracking Charters. Uh, actually, James, one of the winners, couldn't make it today. Him and his wife couldn't make it. They had some car troubles. Um, yeah, huge boo. We'll figure something out for them boo. later. Yeah, we, we can do we'll, a little we'll, something we'll, for them. We'll, but We'll bring them up another time. This is... Uh, this is the crew. We got Becca, we got Tommy, we got Hunter, Jerry, Jimmy, and Jim. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can put together. It's gonna be a little bit nautical out here today. Honestly, I don't know if we should even be out here, but we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. We'll see what we can put together. Let's go. Fish right next to Jimmy. Jimmy, Becca's gonna come over and fish next to you. It's a little, it's a little hard for her to fish under the boat. It's hard. Especially when we're moving this quick. Really gotta stay on point with it. Oh. Yeah, that's what I, I just yeah, actually missed a fish. I just missed a fluke. Jerry's on? Jerry's on. Of course he is. <laughs> Jerry, is it worth it? All right, net's right behind me. Who do we got here, Cap? The double down? Jimmy. Is that fluky? Looks fluky. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna reel up and grab the net. Shot first keeper on the boat. What was that? That was my bag. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a sea bass. Alright. Biscuits aboard. What's up, Jim? Oh, get that fucking thing out of here, bro. We don't, you can't even take it on the boat. <laughs> Psycho. Pain in the ass. What the fuck is going on? Let me 
fucker. <laughs> that, that's fluky, huh? No? Biscuit? <laughs> yep. Biscuits. Is that a keeper? Am I keep? <laughs> right species. Right species, wrong size. <laughs> it's a baby. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> I don't know how big this is going to be, Cap. Get the fuck oh, out of here. This 8 ounce sinker is killing me. <laughs> there you go, Becca. Hammer it, Becca. She's not used to right handed reels. <laughs> Nice shot, Becca. Becca, on the board. You think it's a bass? I know it sucks, Becca. Don't get used to it. Yes, yes. Get it in here. Uh, no, that is like the best thing you could have got. Hey, well, take I'm gonna strip this son bitch out. I'll get you a piece in a second. I'm stripping the borgie out that I just got too. Yeah, I caught my nine pounder on Z Robin. Baby, 
Are you serious? Would you get a nine? Yeah, dude. Well. It seriously has been. can take that. You got a 12 on? Becca, I'm gonna give you a 12. If that's what Tommy's got on, I'll give you a 12. Yeah, yeah it does its own thing. Oh, into Becca's hand? <laughs> That's two in a row. I'm gonna have to switch over to goddamn spoon as much as I didn't want to. Oh yeah, 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 because that you're, you're talking about the angle. Yeah, I got you. It should be perfectly okay. Frisbee. Oh, fucking missed him. you doing? It's two of these cork soakers. Goddamn scum. This? Window, yeah. Jerry, window Jerry was on the Francis fleet and he, foul hook, do you think? It looks like it's starting to... no. he set the hook and it, uh, the bail opened and he yeah, smacked yeah, himself yeah, yeah. in the face and uh, knocked his really nice glasses off. It's definitely a keeper. Jimmy, high hook. High hook Jimbo.
<laughs> At least something's working. Oh, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna work. Yeah, I'm right here. Jason was killing it yesterday. Yeah. Kid was on fire. On fire. It seemed like every two seconds he was on top. Like Making a goddamn fucking bait rig. Jimmy, you got one now too? <laughs> Jimmy, you're Jim, he's Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, where are they? Right here. It looks like a keeper though. Are they all the same? Get it! Oh, 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 oh. Nice, Becca. Nice. You hooked the fish. I <laughs> put it in my pocket. <laughs> well, that sucks. I finally hook up my GoPro to It's alright. I can send you this if it need be. How's it feel? Everything feels heavy right now. Yeah, you can't say it feels giant. You can't say it feels small. It's a fluke. And it'll keep. on the board. I'm not on the board. I have a sea bass, so I guess I'm slightly on the board. <laughs> what do you got there? Nice. Fucking take that. <laughs> Again, Tommy? With the doubles? You're ridiculous. Jim, is that neat in that? Nope, definitely doesn't need a net.
you. <laughs> yeah, that's a real fish. Well, at least it kind of feels like a real fish. Who knows? We're like 30,000 feet out there. It's going to be a fucking sea bass. I haven't even felt any goddamn like serious head shakes. Oh yeah. It just it feels heavy. But I mean Jesus Christ, we're moving the to tell with when you like I don't know if this is a foot cap. Whatever it is, it's heavy, but also we're moving a fucking hot tick. What they say. It feels like it's not a big deal, it's probably a nice fluke. If it feels like it's a monster fluke, it's probably a little There scary. it is, and it's a fucking that felt this thing felt so big. I know, that's mouth that, open. That's what I told you before, remember? Like so big. I'm gonna cut that mackerel up real quick for us. We have business being out of here. Is that the one that like jumped off a of mine? I hope so. It's a fluke, is what it is. Could be fucking three inches. <laughs> but it's a fucking fluke. <laughs> Hundred percent of fluke. Come on, get me on the board. Ah, uh, what great color? Uh, I don't think it's the right Whoa, size. Done any uh, fluky yeah, head shakes since the bottom? It's hard to tell because they come, they just gotta come in with the current. Nope. Nope. It's a biscuit. the other day on a tuna John was like what the hell kind of hook set was that I was like I didn't feel the fish I just kept running backwards until I did <laughs> yeah this is a really small something I'm starting to feel the like get the the feel of the weight of the fish yeah Against all this bullshit. It's just really tough. Oh my cutie pie. Oh, that's probably the cutest one on the boat so far. I want to 
of fish. No, you didn't. I'm gonna mug it. Hey, everybody, for us. They know you're trying to get it. Kind of fucking died. Yeah. 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 It's like a big blue fish. Ah! <laughs> oh. Cat, cat just gave you a, a net. It's a mercy net job. Hey, it's a blue. Yeah, he, yeah, that's why he netted it. Oh shit. That was funny. I'm not even making that up. That's a keeper? Look at this. Dude, it looks... <laughs> nice job, Jim. I'm proud of you, bud. The whole boat's got one now. You made that one? You made that one? Looks like a sea bass. <laughs> All on spoons, yeah. When we were in Nantucket and we were moving like this, Cat put on a spoon and it was lights out. Wave came in. I know. Wave where did somebody get you? Like, what's the tsunami? Wave lifted him up. That was a fucking gnarly one, too. That was a gnarly one. Hello, wave. You know when you look in the wave in the eye? Yeah. That shit's, um. Where the hell were we? We're out, me and my buddy were out at center wall and we had no business being out there in a 14 foot tin boat. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's a baby. time.
Not a bad one, Jerry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's episode. Uh, huge thanks to everyone that made it out there. And also to James. We'll, we'll figure something out that we can do for you in the future here coming up. Um, but to everyone that did make it out, too, huge thank you. Huge thanks to Becca for uh, for pushing through. It was her first time ever being seasick. Uh, also, Jimmy for pushing through. He got seasick as well. It was rough out there. Uh, it's very, very, very hard to see um, what it was like out there by looking at the footage on the GoPro. We had waves that were above our heads uh, coming at us and the boat would go all the way up and then all the way down. It, it, you just don't see that uh, in the video footage, but we still managed to have a good day. We had a lot of fun. We caught a bunch of fish, um, you know, for the conditions that we had. And, you know, if freaking Tommy uh, put his damn jig down and used his spoon the whole time, he probably would have limited out the whole boat with fluke because he was on freaking fire. Every single time I looked over, he was either setting the hook or reeling a fish up or, I mean, Tommy was, Tommy was lit up. So it was freaking great to be able to do this. The first ever Fish and Grubs, uh, you know, subscriber giveaway trip. You know, and hopefully we can we can do this more often because uh, it was totally worth it. It was totally worth it. The biggest thanks of all has to go out to Jerry, um, who literally had the idea to do this and paid, well, was supposed to pay for half and ended up paying uh, more than half uh, just because I tried paying for half and he didn't let me. So, huge thanks to Jerry. We wouldn't have been able to do this without you, dude. And... Um, Let's uh, let's come up with something soon. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a full day uh, within the next couple months. Go out for to tog. Um, I know like the majority of the like best time to fish for tog has already been taken up. But um, you know, hopefully we can get a date. And then I don't think we're gonna do a giveaway this time. I think we're just gonna reach out to you guys and if any of you guys want to come up on that date if you can get it um, we'll do that and then we can invite James uh, and his wife for that trip I think that would be that'd be a good thing to do but we'll figure it out um, guys I hope you enjoyed the episode please if you're not subscribed already hit the subscribe button um, hit the bell as well we drop videos every single weekday uh, if we can it's been it's been really hard lately because uh, we are working our butts off, so, whew, and uh, doing a lot more travel as well, especially with me now being able to go down and see the kids. But thanks for sticking with me, guys. Uh, I do really appreciate all of your support, and always will. Yeah, baby. We'll catch you on the next one. Fish on. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithm. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all insermit the silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on to bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday.